There's an intriguing solo Dondozo gouging fire team coming out of the global challenge. A lot of top Japanese players used it, and I want to talk about how it functions and kind of recreate certain aspects of it. So the team is based around this oblivious Dondozo, and it's not actually played with Tatsugiri, but you use the oblivious to counter intimidate, and then you can pair that with gouging fire howl and, you know, kind of rack up the attack boost. It's something that's really scary to go up against, and I don't think that many teams are prepared for it right now. I also think this team could be good going into some of the next events in North America. I think it's some really good meta progression, and there's a lot of things that just aren't ready for it right now. So the main core is based on these three Pokemon. If you guys remember, I did a high ladder video where we were we were super high up on the best of one ladder, and there were this team was actually running around there, and I assume it was actually the Japanese plea pill testing it. And yeah, basically you have um so you have Dondozo, Ting Lu, and Gouging Fire. This is a really good Howl core. We're able to kind of get that boost going, but the one that I played on ladder was actually a different set. So the set that I played against on ladder was this kind of set. You had a Morning Sun, you had Breaking Swipe, you had Burning Bulwark, and you actually just had access to Heat Crash. It wasn't necessarily the Howl stuff, it was just that these three Pokemon had incredible synergy together, and Dondozo with Oblivious was able to spam Yawns, and then Ting Lu was able to go for a Sand Tomb, and the Sand Tomb plus Yawn combination was absolutely amazing. The other thing was, was that into counterplay like Urshifu and Rillaboom, one, this thing can tear a poison in front of one of them, but also the Ting Lu Kintera. So at least like, I, like I've seen different variants of this running around based on like the past few weeks that I had been testing on best of one. But yeah, you have Sand Tomb, you have Ruination, you have Stomping Tantrum, and this is kind of the set that these uh, Ting Lu, like these Ting Lu teams are running. And I thought it was really fascinating because the thing about the Ting Lu teams is that it, these teams are just so bulky and you have way more stats than your opponent. And I think you can definitely take advantage of that. So that's kind of what we're going to try to recreate in this video. We're going to create our own version of it and see how it functions. Now, this might not be the most optimal one, but this is kind of just testing out different things. I'm going to try out different partners and yeah, we're just going to see how everything goes. So I wanted to try the Howl stuff. I thought that'd be pretty interesting. I do think the clear amulet set was really smart though. It just beats a lot of the other gouging fire teams, which I think is really nice. But yeah, we could try the Howl stuff. I did see one of them running Snarl though, so maybe we just end up playing towards Snarl. Yeah, I just think Howl is going to be really cool because you can pair that with some of the other partners. So we have Ting Lu, we have Dondozo. I think that Dondozo is going to run the pretty standard set of Wave Crash, Heavy Slam, and Protect. And then we're going to go with uh, Leftovers here. So yeah, we have Ting Lu here and then probably going to go with Stealth Rocks. Actually, I see, I haven't seen them run Stealth Rocks. I don't know if that's the most optimal one, but yeah, we'll kind of figure that out a bit later. So I'm going to go with uh, Protect for now, and then we'll kind of see what it goes for. I have seen them actually run Body Press, though. So yeah, we're going to keep a Body Press. I think that's a standard version. Okay, so we have this, and we have the Howl stuff. Now, the next two partners that I saw them running, for, first I want to do the partner that I thought was really interesting. It was a Choice Scarf Golden Go. Choice Scarf Golden Go is not that common, actually. Not many people use it, and you guys have probably not heard of it since, like, Regulation C when Gavin was using it. So, yeah, I, I think it's really, really unique. So what I was thinking about was running this kind of set with Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Trick, and I don't know what last move is actually that optimal. We could go for something like Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to go for something like Recover. I think it could be okay just to stall things out. So yeah, we're going to try to play towards that. The Scarf Golden Go is supposed to beat Fluttermane. It beats the Comos. Like, it beats Registeel. It, it catches those kind of Pokemon off guard that you normally lose to. And I think Scarf Golden Go specifically in Best of One also made a lot of sense when it was run over there. So that's kind of the uh, theory behind that. I think it still is good for the team. We could try to run the Nasty Plot stuff. But yeah, because we're building this for Best of Three, maybe we try the Nasty Plot Metal Code stuff. It still beats that matchup, though, which I think is pretty nice. So I'm actually going to go with Leftovers. I think Leftovers can actually stick on the field for longer. And then we could try to go for that Terra Fairy Gleam set that I had been running for such a long time. So we can do that. Okay, cool. So then we have this. Now, actually, you know what? Let, let's stick. Let's let, let's figure, let, let's see what they were using, and then um, then we can make adjustments from there. I, I don't want to uh, I don't want to make changes without um, without actually seeing how the scarf one functions. Yeah, I want to stay as true to the true stuff as uh, possible. But yeah, so which, which is why we're actually keeping body press over like even stealth rocks. So let's do that, and let's put back Shadow Ball. So yeah, this will be the set. 
Then the other two partners that they ran were Chen Pao plus Dragonite. Now, the one Dragonite set that I played against on ladder was actually multi-skill, and it had Assault Vest, which I thought was really interesting, because that definitely does pair well with Howl. I've also seen a bunch of Choice Band ones running around. I think the, what, the one that I saw on, on, online was definitely a Choice Band, so maybe we just play towards Choice Band. I do want to try multi-skill, though, because I did see some of them on ladder running multi-skill. So we can try to play towards that. Let's see. So we can go with, like, Stomping Tantrum. We can go for like Aqua Gen, then we can go for like Outrage. I think I'm gonna drop one of them for like Aerial Ace, so let's do something like that. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we can go with like Fast Choice Band. I'll go for like, you know, this and to, uh, let's do this. Okay, so we can do for something like this, and I think this should be fine. And then we'll, we'll just figure out the stuff as we go, essentially. Yeah, I, I'm just really curious to see how everything functions. I think there's so much flexibility to what you can run, especially since a lot of this was designed for best of one. Like, it was designed so they could qualify for the uh, Japan National Championships. I think the Dondozo on this also ran Citrus Berry, but some of them on ladder ran Leftover, so I'm kind of unsure on which one's most optimal. But yeah, now it's kind of time to uh, recreate some of the EP spreads. It's so, like Golden Go has to outspeed everything. Thing. you know that that that's literally what scarf golden goes meant to do so we can just end up going for a semi-bulky one i think scarf is already gonna outspeed most things so we should be fine and then i don't think scarf Urshifu can really break through this team when you have like helmet ting lu stuff so here we can do that i think the gouging fire plus chen pao in the end game is really solid so what if we just go with the i mean i don't know how fast you'd want to go with gouging fire I guess we could go for like a slower one just because we are playing with us. Oh, so let's go to something like this and then one point faster than our golden go. I think that should be pretty good. Yeah, maybe we can go with a bulky one just because we already have Chen Pao to boost the damage. So let's go with that. Oh, this makes sense. This makes sense. Um, And then, yeah, let's go for, okay, Don Doza actually had an interesting idea. I'll probably, I'll probably do that a bit later though. I don't know how optimal that is for now. Actually, see, see, I was thinking about like max speed Don Dozo because that could outspeed Ensign. Now, like, I don't know what spread they ran, so I, I, I like, I have to, uh, like, like, we've, it's, it's, it might not be the best set. Yeah, so we're just gonna try the slower one. I'll figure out the rest later. Okay. So we can do, like, Adamant. Um, you do need 188 Adamant, I think, to knock out a Fluttermane with Heavy Slam, which is a ton of investment, but also it's worth. And also, like, since we're running Oblivious, I, I think having good damage is actually super, super worthwhile using. So we can do something like this, and this should be fine. Okay, so we have Ting Lu. I mean, I don't know what's most optimal for Ting Lu. I assume if you're running Body Press, though, don't you want to run, like, Impish Nature? Like, this was my thought, initially. Because, like, this should be able to take all the hits. Like, this is very, very bulky. At least that, that's, that's, like, my that's my thought process here. Yeah, because our goal is to use the Rocky Helmet and spam Sand Tombs. Our goal isn't necessarily to do damage. It's so, like, this should actually give us, give us the extra Body Press power. It's so like, yeah, what if we just play towards that? Now, I do actually want to play Snarl here, because I did see some of the original ones running Snarl, so what if we just do that? So this can just be a really bulky Pokemon, and, like, I don't think the Howl is that useful anyways. I think, like, the Snarl damage reduction might just end up coming up a bit more. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have these uh, six Pokemon, and we kind of, like, put the, put together some of the EV spreads. I think there's so much flexibility to it. It's pretty likely that I'll probably make a Patreon team based on this at one point, because I think I think, I think there's so, so many, uh, like, options in terms of, like, what you can do with this stuff. Okay, so we going up against... This is another Japanese team, actually. This team is, like, really popular, and a lot of people are picking it up. Okay. So, let's see, let's see. So, we have uh, Dondozo, uh, Ting Lu. Like, that's probably the lead that they end up expecting out of us. Now, I feel like that's a fine lead, though. We can definitely just, like, start putting on a ton of pressure and then go from there. So, I'm going to do a Dondozo plus Ting Lu. Now, in the back, I definitely want... I want to try D-Knight Pal. Like, this is the main mode that I wanted to try because this is something that I was actually pretty comfortable with back in Regulation C at one point. I think the other two Pokemon I had were um, Toxigiri and Glamora, though. Like, that was the difference. Okay. So, I mean, technically, I could tear the Ting Lu, but I don't think there's actually a reason to. Um, hmm... Like, I could just go for Yawn here, and I think I could just go for, like, Sand Tomb. Like, they could Surging Strikes here, but I expect a U-turn. Oh. They just took the Helmet Chip. Okay. I, I did not expect them to want to take that Helmet Chip, but I guess that makes sense. Does Sand Tomb hit? Oh, what's a brutal miss. Oh, it's not a brutal miss. It's, just, it's a little bad, though, for sure. So I'm just going to go for Yawn in case they go for, like, Parting Shot. Oh, one thing that they had is that they would Ruination first on Ting Lu. That is, that is something that I noticed some, from some of the ones on ladder. Okay. They just knock. Okay. 
interesting. So the thing is, this thing can go to sleep. So do I just wave crash and go for extreme speed? Yeah, I should extreme speed the Urshifu. Like, I, I just want to get it off the field for now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So the Ensign gets hit. Oh, why, why in the world are we multi-scale? Wait, 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 wait. No, I want to run the inner focus one. That is not good. Oh, so that's the, so strong, though. That's actually so strong. I love that. I actually love that. That that was powerful. Cut. Okay. Let's go for Yawn, and let's actually just go into... Um, Terra Steel Yawn seems fine. I'm just going to start spamming E-Speeds. No way. They're just going to start calm minding. Uh-oh. I think Chempow is more useful here. Yeah, so I'm just going to yawn. I am a little worried about how this endgame can go, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to try to knock out the Urshifu here, I assume. Oh, if this doesn't knock out, I'm going to be so disappointed. Because that got a knockout, man. <laughs> or else that's so brutal. Okay, sort of ruined. Ban I mean, it's technically neutral, right? I don't think that crit matter. That That's a neutral hit, if you think about it. Okay. So. E-Speed into Sucker Punch. Has a good chance of winning, I think. Oh, actually, no. Then we just lose to plus six Dragon Pulse, right? May have butchered this. Okay. Hmm. This this might not be the best plan. Yeah, we need Inner Focus, though. That, that, I think with Inner Focus, we would have just cooked that matchup, so... Yeah, that, that, that's actually really important to put on. But yeah, it's just it's just worth testing different things, though. Because I have seen multi-skill AV on this, too. Oh, no. Holy. That's not good. That did too much, man. That did too much. Um, We have to keep wave crashing. I don't know whenever that would, like... Well, I'm going to bank on this thing not waking up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I mean, to be fair, I think we can still win on sleep turns, but they're going to keep calm minding. They're going to calm mind. Yeah. Can we crit? Is the other question. I have to yawn this one because I'm worried about, um, like that dragon pulse will pick up. Yeah, so now we can yawn though. Oh, never mind. It's just strong. Okay. Um. So, so I messed that one up. I, I definitely messed that one up, which is okay. Let's go for the same plan. I think the plan was fine. It was just us. Like I think we were the issue, not the plan. So we're gonna do that. I do think though the Dragonite not having that ability is kind of awful though. Like that's not good. So they're gonna Woodhammer here and probably just Terra into do something. So what I can do is probably just Ruination here. And then take the Surging Strikes. Oh. I think the Dragonite got doubled here. <gasps> Missing Ruination's not good. Missing Ruination's not good, ever. I think we can do this. Outrage into Stomping Tantrum. No, we can't. I'm going to Aerial Ace. And I'm going to Body Press. I don't, like, I think Ensign will just take too much from Body Press. Oh, they actually do it the other way around, which is smart. Yeah, so whatever's coming in is taking a hit, but also it's not doing that much. Yeah, like, losing our, uh... Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna Sand Tomb, for sure. Yeah, I want a Sand Tomb. I also want to chunk that, um, Ensign with, with another Aerial Ace to put it into a uh, range of Citrus. I also think Ting Lu not getting knocked out early is actually pretty useful for us. I'm gonna Sand Tomb. 
At least in my opinion, I think that's fine. We just have to hit. They're going to go Rillaboom here? Yeah. They do Dragon Pulse. Doesn't do that much. Okay, perfect. So we do hit, which is amazing. I think the Bolt is actually the biggest threat here. Yeah. Doesn't do... Oh, no. That's such a bad crit. Okay. That's fine. Um, I don't think Dondozo is that useful here. So what I'll do is I'll actually just go for Ruination into this thing. Oh, that still knocks out. That's not good. That does two shot, unfortunately. Okay. I think it's just Ice Spinner and Body Press. Yeah. Okay, so that's gone. Is that gone? Yeah, sort of rune boosted. Good. Uh, do I think E-Speed into a uh, Sucker Punch beats the um, Urshifu? It has to, right? Otherwise I lose. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. So they, they expect a Sucker Punch. Okay, good. So that should do it. Okay, so we won that one. Uh, their, their fake out play was really good, though. It's just us having multi-skill is actually kind of brutal there. Like, it just makes it so hard to position on instant. Body Press is good. I'm glad, I'm glad we kept that over something like Rocks. Because Body Press did win us the game. It allowed, it allowed Ting Lu to keep up offensive pressure, even when it couldn't, basically. I'm going to lead Dragonite into this. I think it's a good lead. Okay. I'm also going to lead Ting Lu. And then I'm going to bring Chen Pao, and I'm actually going to bring Gaojing, probably. I could bring Golden Go, but I think Gaojing is fine, yeah. Because Gaojing can start spamming Terra Fairy Snarls at one point. Interesting. So they do actually get that Intimidate off. Hmm. I will Sand Tomb this slot. Okay, I did Stomping the, the thing, actually. Yeah, I Stomping the Bolt coming in, which is good. Okay. Now that thing's going to go into Rillaboom, probably. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to Ruination. I want to Sand Tomb the Bolt, though. Okay, are they Parting Shot? You know what? I might be the worst at coming up with EV spreads of all time, bro. <laughs> what? Nah, 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 nah. Wait, I'm actually... Dude, like, it doesn't matter in this matchup, but bro, that is terrible EV spread making. Dude, I, it, it happens every time. Like, it, <laughs> oops. Some, sometimes that happens. It's okay, it's okay. You guys probably noticed that before I didn't. You guys probably just like, what? You're supposed to give it a boost in that? Yeah, no, that, 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 that was not intentional. That was, I can guarantee you that was not intentional. Because look at that. It's a lot of damage from Terra Water Surging. That defense boost doesn't matter. Snarl's fantastic here. Because we take Dragon Pulse now. Whew, that did nothing. And we hit Sand Tomb? No way, bro. That's so good. That's actually fantastic. Dude, we're just going to lose our mon, though. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to body press, and then I'm probably just going to breaking swipe. No, dude, I don't like that turn. Like, I don't like that turn. Good damage, though. Um, E-speed and body press. Always the right play. Getting intimidated is so awful, man. Like, well, I guess the multi-skill carried there. No, that doesn't even knock out. What? Oh, bro. Man. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's do stomping. I should get boosted up. 
I doubt they want to. I think they want to Dragon Pulse that, yeah. Okay, and Santum should do it. Yeah, perfect. So that's at least good. Now they go into Rillaboom. Personally. I think this into Body Press is the safest play ever. There's no risk. Yeah, exactly. They're going to Parting Shot. But Body Press ignores that because it hits on a defense. So we actually just beat that. Perfect. And now how do they beat... Um, how do they beat our back? They don't. Yeah, they literally don't beat this. So that's good. Yeah, Sacred Sword knocks out. We're going to lose our um, Chump Pao here. Oh, not even that. Yeah, Woo Hammered. Like 27%. Sword of Ruin Body Press? Let's go. So that's how you beat Intimidate. So, so Body Press is so good. Yeah, exactly. This, this is why. You got to stick to the original set sometimes. Like, I don't know how Scarf Golden Go works. But, like, at, at, least, at least we're able to identify, right? Like, we learned how to play the team. I think the team is so good. It's actually broken. Like that that is that is that is busted. Yeah, like that like that is so good, man. Like I actually think that's insane. Also, I gotta charge my phone because as soon as I go out to study. Yeah, usually so I record in the morning, right? And then I go out to like um, you know, so some are so usually usually depending on where I feel like on campus to like finish up schoolwork, you know, do all that. And then that's kind of my day. And then I usually wind down with badminton practice if there's badminton practice. Um so that, that's kind of like the way I go about things. But yeah, no, this team is, this, this Ting Lu set is busted. I love it. Oh, I mean, this matchup might be atrocious, actually. How does my team beat Annihilate? The answer is it doesn't. Or, I mean, it does, but it also doesn't at the same time. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It does not beat Ape. This team does not beat Ape. But like, also, Ape is not that common, right? So it's not that big of an issue. But this this is this is definitely annoying. Like this is this is not good. Because like how are we supposed to break this ape? Oh, maybe ape is really good on this. What if we try ape? I would be down to try ape over Golden Go. I think that's cool. The snarl on uh, gouging was also really good, by the way, when we used it. Okay. Um, I, I think chipping the Gyarados is more valuable right now. Yeah. Crit does a lot of damage, actually. I don't like that. Okay, good, good. So we do take the T-Wave, and we hit the Ruination. Perfect. Okay. I want to trick whatever's coming in. And I also want a Sand Tomb. Interesting. So we take the Helmet, and we give it a Scarf. Sand Tomb's fine here like it's not fantastic of course but it's okay because i think we can start chunking this now with like ruinations which i think will be good and then the dozo can start spamming yawns down whatever wants to come in and we keep our helmet oh and that does nothing and we get ruination yo let's go i just do this always always yawn it Oh, that taking helmet chip's amazing for us, actually. A yawn and body press is ideal. Yeah, like they're Ting Lu, like, but they lost their Ting Lu now. Okay, at least at least we get off some good damage. That that's important to me. But the Ting Lu's gone. I think that's good. Like that is really good for us. I do like the fact that Ting Lu's gone here. Okay. So the wood hammer should beat us. That's the one issue. But I feel like if we chunk this thing with like body press, it'll be good. Because then we can swap out. I'm just going to make it rain. It's a lot of damage. Okay, perfect. So let's go for make it rain. And let's go into, um, let's go into Don Dozo. I think that's the way. <gasps> no, dude, no. They're going to get ape going. What? Dude, I don't like that. If they get ape going, it's so bad. Oh no. At least we're gonna outspeed here. Okay. Let's go into this. Let's actually double swap. So Rage Fist did a lot of damage. But I think we can do this now. 
Yep. Oh, we got paired. No way. I'll just keep attacking this slot. Yeah. And then just double protect. Or technically, it's going to Tang Lu and protect. Because once they go to sleep, we're fine. Yeah, and that gives them more helmet chip. So now we can go for wave crash and start spamming ice spinners. And that should be it. Yeah, so that should be good. Yeah, so the Tang Lu side. Like, I think playing around Ape was fine. You can definitely outplay. Like, this team just had all the defensive options. But it had defensive options in a way where we weren't really put in a bad position. Like, I felt pretty satisfied with that. Yeah, like, not, nothing really went wrong there, I feel like. Like, we just, we just Tang Lu'd them. And I thought the, um, the, I thought the Golden Go was so good for us. Okay, so the, the trick is good. It, it just, it's a positional thing. And it also beats certain bad matchups. So that's good to know. Okay, so let's lead, uh, to, let's bring the same four. I thought these four were fine. Dude, this team is like, I know Rinya Kobayashi also said, like, he thinks it's the best team in the format. Or at least, at least I remember someone telling me that he said that. Dude, it makes sense. Like, it's so good. Um... This lead is terrible for us. By terrible, I mean absolutely, like, atrociously bad. Like, next level, just like, we are so done. <laughs> like, I don't know how to beat this. Okay? We got that right. We got this. We got this turn right. That's that's fantastic. Okay, I didn't I, I did not think they were actually gonna attack that. Um they, they're not gonna stay in. I think they're gonna hit the dozo. Yeah. Because I think they're going to hit the Dozo. So, Ruination. Then go into Golden Go. They're not. I don't think they're hitting Ting Lu here. Yeah. And Ruination does really good chip. And then can I go into Ch go into Don Dozo and then Terra Steel Make It Rain? Because Terra Steel Make It Rain should pick up the knockouts here. Oh, if that doesn't pick up Rillaboom, I'm going to be really sad. What? No, no, that's so bad. Oh, it's not bad, I just don't like it. Because uh, now we lose to our Shifu. Yeah, I don't see how we win now, unfortunately. I do see, I do see one way out, which is double the Urshifu. Okay. Okay, so we do double the Urshifu and get rid of it. Now it depends on their last, which is unfortunately Ting Lu. Uh, we have to get this right as well. I don't want my Chen Pao to lose here. Okay. So. I double protect, I think. And stomping. Yeah. Th this is the only way to win, because they were going to double that always, like every day of the week. Yeah. Okay. I I'm happy with that play, but our, our game plan definitely could be improved into this. Yeah, because then the next one would have knocked out. We could have sand tombed and at least try to win through ruinations. But yeah, this, this is fine. I, I, think, I just think they play that one better than us. Okay. So we have, um, we have a dilemma. We have to figure out how to beat this. <laughs> like, I don't know how. That, 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 um... That Rillaboom not dropping was, like, brutal for us. I think the Yawn lead is fine. But I think I think this is better on lead. Yeah, so we're going to do this. Or I'm going to lead Chempao plus D-Knight on lead. And then I'm going to try to play um, Don Dozo. And maybe Golden Go. I like Tinglu. Let's do that. Not the best lead, but at least we have Inner Focus now. So what I was thinking is that I could do this, and then I could just click Outrage for a bit. Because there's no real good switch into an Outrage. Ape will drop. 100%. If Ape gets hit by this, it's dropping. Well. Okay, so at least that Mon's gone. I don't like the fact that we proc'd Ape, though. I do, I do wish we actually got rid of Ape. Now, if they have a Shifu, this is a problem. If they have Ting Lu, it's fine. Well, I spoke that into existence. I think they always drop us, so there's no reason to even try. Yep. 
Yeah, that's still a two-shot. Okay, just bulk up. I'll do this. I think the Arshifu's coming in. And I much value getting rid of the Arshifu right now. I do think I should have yawned the Annihilate, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't think I beat Ape. Ape is a hard matchup, though. But it's also one of the few things that this team actually struggles against, so I'm okay with losing to that. Like, I think there's very, very few things that this team loses to, and Ape is one of them. Which is definitely unfortunate, but that's just what you gotta accept sometimes. I don't think this is over yet, but it's definitely kind of doomed. Oh no, we lost, we lost. Because they're just gonna wood hammer and then I can't beat the dozo. I'll try to crit. I think that's the way. I assume that if they if we do live, then we also win, so. Okay. Stay asleep. Wait. If this thing stays asleep for long enough. Oh, hold up, hold up. We might be able to win. Oh, live Warhammer? Dude, Ting lose the goat. Ting lose Ashley the goat, bro. Ting lose the goat. Watch this. Wait, this the sand. The sand tomb's gonna win us. No way. They choked. If they just wood hammered in terrain, we 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 lost like immediately. Oh, we're so lucky. We're actually so lucky. But how 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 did we do that? Okay, that that matchup ape is atrocious matchup. Like uh, that's a horrible matchup. I don't think we're supposed to beat ape with this kind of team. Like, and there's probably ways, like the yawn stuff, there's probably a specific line, but yeah, I don't think it's possible in most situations. All right, this is another matchup that's supposed to be free. Supposed to be, because we have Ting Lu, we have Gouging Fire, which just completely walls out their whole team. And we have Ice Spinner. We have like the huge, huge bonuses, basically. So I go like Chen Pao, Ting Lu. I can't, I can't, I can't. So the reason I can't do Chen Pao, Ting Lu is because I think I'd just lose to um, Glade. So what I'd have to do is lead Don Dozo with Ting Lu in the back and then probably gouging. Yeah. Ting Lu's good here. I do think Terra Fairy Ting Lu would be better into this matchup, but also this matchup isn't that common in Japan. So again, this, this team was designed for the Japanese metagame, so we do have to adapt it into ours or at least create our game plans. But think about teams are, if they're good, you, you have room to adapt. It's just, it's up to you to actually come up with those adaptations. Okay. Oh, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's actually very, very good. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, I, that thing didn't have Vertex. I was always going to double it, but that's good. Also, because we have a Ghost type, I want to run Stellar Terra. Yeah, because we have Golden Go, I actually really want to run Stellar Terra now. On oh, this, this one, we always hit this thing. Yeah. And we also always uh, yawn. This covers for redirect. If they redirect, then they're forced to be put to sleep and they stay on the field and then we can wave crash the slot coming in and then we win. So that, that's my theory there. This is fine. I'm okay with this turn. Okay. So Ivy Cudgel does beat us though, unfortunately. Now we got the speed boost. <laughs> I do want to double the Ogre Pond so badly, but I'm going to get it wrong and then I'm going to be in a bad spot, yeah. There's literally no reason to. Well, we hit the Armors for good damage. Like, that's very, very respectable damage, actually. I have to just Breaking Swipe again. 
The reason being is that, so they're going to try to play it into Trick Room, right? If we beat the Ogre Pond, then Tanglu just wins, so. Like, I want to Snarl so badly, though, but I don't want to lose to, like, IV Cudgel, so I have to double. Because this gets, the, the, the my attack gets a sort of Ruin boost, which should be enough. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is just strong enough to win anyways. Cool. Oh, actually, it's super effective. I forgot that. <laughs> I could have snarled. Oh, well. So they can heat wave and do all that. I'm just going to snarl. Expanding force makes sense. Like, they have no answer. Like, this matchup is just free. Like, I don't know what else to say about that. Like, sort of ruin stomping tantrum. Yeah, like, like, we're not supposed to lose this matchup at all. Like, we'd have to play absolutely atrocious to lose this set. Okay. Let's do... I don't know, man. I, like... I liked our lead, though. I thought our lead was actually pretty good. They did have options to outplay us, though. I didn't like that. So I'm going to lead these two, because I think it's a lot harder to outplay these two. And then these two are just the bulkiest... Dude, this team is so good, man. Like, it's actually just amazing. Like, it's just, a, it's a hard counter to size spam, which I think is cool. Like, I personally think having a hard counter to size spam like that is just amazing. Yeah. No, that, that is so appealing. Um, let's see. Oh, alrighty. Uh, they'd probably Ivy Cudgel the Gouging anyway, so this is optimal. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. I'll do this. Hmm, I don't like that, but that's okay. Because they don't get the drop, that's the issue. So they could bring in like armors here. They bring in Torkoal. Okay. Sucker Punch and Knockout. If we position this properly, I think we're fine. Snarl would be like game winning here if we got if we got that off. Tinglu would also be game winning here. Yeah, like the only person I feel like I'd ever lose to this from. Yeah, exactly. I, there's no way. Like, if, the thing is, if they swap out, they only have one attacker. They don't have two. It's like, it's actually just game winning. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then whatever they have, like, if they don't have Ndidi, it's even better for us. Okay, they do have Ndidi. But that's okay. That's absolutely fine. I just go for Snarls, man. Like, it just wins. Oh, actually, why did I do that? I mean, it doesn't match. Could I double protect it? But I thought this was safe, too. Or, I mean, it was useless. But, like, whatever Chen Pao did did not matter, basically. Yeah, no, Ting Lu just wins. Okay, yeah, that's the freest matchup ever. Like, they physically cannot do anything, no matter how good they are. Like, that, that is that is a win. Like, that's a good, good win there, in my opinion. Like, it, it, it couldn't work. I, I think that I think that was amazing. Like, that, that was definitely it. All right. And, like, this isn't even low on ladder, too. Like, all the opponents we're pulling are lower than us. So, we're, like, we're decently high up as well. And, like, the, we just randomly, like, we just randomly recreated and the team is working. Like, I think that's a sign that it's so good. Who I love this. Wait, this is, like, there's there's different variants of this that are definitely worth taking to a regional, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's I think it's worth. If, if, you, if you build it correctly, if you build it correctly for, like, the, Ameri like the North American metagame, I think it could be amazing. Yeah, but this, this, like, very attack-invested uh, Dondozo. The reason I knew the 188 benchmark, I don't know if it's 188 or 196. It might be even higher now, just because Flutter's run bulkier, but I remember trying that in Reg C, basically. Like, that. that's that's what I used in Reg C. Like, I, I, I remember when I was using Dozo Tinglu in that. How did they beat Dozo Tinglu? Spec, Citrus Berry. Yeah, I don't think they beat Dozo Tinglu if you play it properly. Which, you know, you gotta play properly, of course, but... There's also that. That's Ban Sash? Okay. That, that one's a little bit harder to handle then. I, I like Stellar Terror. I think Stellar Terror is going to be amazing. Because you actually get to, like, I think D Knight Chump Pal just get way more threatening when you have Stellar Terror. Like, that Stellar Terror is going to put in work. Hmm. Like, I feel like Dozo Tinglu, though, is good. Like, on lead. Like, as a lot of these Tailwind teams are not. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, 
I do like that they're specs, though, over another set. Are they trick? They are trick, so we could lose to that. I do think they have their ways of outplaying us, though. I will say that. They, they definitely can outplay us. I just think it's hard for them to. This is their way of outplaying us, for sure. Like, every single day of the week, this is their way of outplaying us. They could helping hand and try to just knock out the... Like, if they close combat helping hand, I'd be so surprised. Like, there's no reason to. Like, that's so risky. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to split my damage. Rocks would be cool here. But I think the, these damaging moves are fine. I'm just worried about... Okay, okay, okay. It's helping in Terra Dark Wicked Blow. Does that beat the Don Dozo? Nah, 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 nah. Dude, the thing is, you're playing against Dozo Tanglu. Like, the, 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 that mod does not drop to that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's in Deni Power Range. Oh, this is not in Gleam Range, by the way. I just Body Press. I live CC on Ting Lu. I, yeah, so I should live CC now. Oh, okay, okay. So they're actually pretty smart with that. Oh, so first one was actually a roll then. That's good to know. I should bring in Chen Pao here. Yeah, I should bring in Chen Pao. Maybe I should have not brought in Chen Pao. That's fine. As long as we don't get burned on Ting Lu, I think we're good. Yeah, don't get burned. That did nothing. Oh, no, that got burned. I don't like that. Because look how much... Dude, that would have been 80. That's 80% damage. That's 40% damage just missed because of that. Okay. Um, this puts it into range of Sucker Punch, so I'm going to do that. And if we lose our Tanglu, we lose our Tanglu, but this is definitely it. Okay. Yeah, getting burned is kind of annoying there, because their E-Speed on Entei is also faster than our Dragonite now, so we have to be so careful. Oh no, they're going to get this right again. I am going to Terra Stellar Sucker Punch now. Oh, I could do it to Entei, man. Nope, I could not do it to Entei. Okay, thank goodness. Like, if I was playing against... If I was playing against someone I knew, I probably would have Terra Stellar Sucker Punched the Entei, but... Because that, that was... It was guaranteed that they'd go for um, Sacred Fire, but I guess... I guess we just had to do it like this. Slight read, but I think it's fine. Alright, let's get to game two. Um... So I thought our plan I, I thought I thought our plan was fine. We played well and it worked out, so we're just gonna stick to it. A uh, Dragonite was useless. Whoa, 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 Dragonite was not good there. Dragonite was not good there. Okay, so we're gonna go with um these two. Yeah, gouging plus pal. Okay. Um it's tour announcement. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Urshifu Whimsicott. No, it's to change change it up okay stomping's the right play it's gonna do a lot of damage i do want to yawn the urshifu i think i can force it out that's the thing i could even like okay i i i had a feeling they'd do that because th this is game two yes this is fantastic like that, I mean, Ting Lu took damage, but I think we can get off Yon and um, Santum now. Yeah. So that's guaranteed put to sleep, basically. That thing is locked in, so now we can do this into... Um, they're going to Wicked Blow. Yeah. Into Make It Rain, I assume. Sounds about right. Now, we're this is Adamant, so it's going to do a ton of damage. Cool. Yeah, I thought that's, a, that's a crazy amount of damage for us. Now we can do Heat Crush and uh, Wave Crush because that beats the Entei coming in. I don't want to lose to that, but we just get double knockouts. A Howl would have been good here, but I don't think it's necessary to win the game. Snarl Protect, I think, and then Snarl into um, Heavy Slam should be good. Yeah, snarl, Snarl's good here, though. I, I'm happy with it. Um, 
also oh my god i had an idea about like a team that'd be really good and i sent it to someone and now they're asking for the reasoning behind it but the issue is is like i played two games with it yesterday and it was so it was brutally bad like it was awful so now i feel bad like it was so bad like it was not good at all i thought it was the biggest genius thing ever but no 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 it was terrible uh some, sometimes they'd be like that that's okay Pip, uh, two snarls is good so that that that, that our dundos is not getting hit that hard Pip, so that's at 33 and even if we get burned we still oh, they didn't even burn us okay perfect dude snarls good wait it's way better than howl hold up hold up this is way way better than, like even with king gambit this is better than howl like you don't need howl it's so passive sometimes snarl is way more active like it's actually doing some chip and it's allowing your partner like king gambit to set up or dozo to you know just do dozo things dude this is incredible Dude, I, 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 don't, I don't have word. This is so good. Like, it's just, this team is, like, broken. Like, before we get into reviewing the team, I wanted to uh, showcase the site that I ended up making. So, this is a site with uh, mini guides, and it's also my coaching site. So, yeah, you, got, you guys get, like, insight on how to use certain Pokemon. I'll be putting out one Pokemon every couple days. And, yeah, if you want to get coaching from me, this is the uh, site to check out. There's a Google form where you can fill out, and then I'll be in contact with you. And, yeah, these are, like, the type of coaching sessions. And if you want team review, I think Patreon's definitely a lot better for that. But, yeah, feel free to read through this. These are a couple of reviews, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I definitely do recommend bookmarking this page because there will be mini guides that are posted and eventually will rack up to a lot of different Pokemon. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's get on to review. Okay, let me let me share some of my thoughts on it now. So this Dondozo was amazing. It was broken. It, it did everything. I don't think you need Tatsugiri. And if you use Tatsugiri, you can get crit and lose the game immediately on your Dozo. So this is the way to do it. It's so bulky. It's so strong because it's invested into attack. Now, I, you know, I don't know what spread they ended up running, so I don't know exactly how much attack they had, but I think a lot of attack is really good, at least based on my testing. Like, it, like the Incineroar dropping was just crazy. Like, I don't, there's not many Pokemon that can, you know, get rid of Incin immediately like that, and that was fantastic. Also, this, um, the reason for this kind of bulk, by the way, is your, um, your special defense is pretty low compared to your HP, like, it's insanely high. So you want to kind of um, put more special defense because it'll basically your defense is already taking everything that you need to. So you might as well patch up your special defense. Patching up special defense comes from Ting Lu. I feel like I could have used more uh, defense investment, but defense bulk felt fine. Uh, special defense bulk was insane. Like the fact that we, inv the, the you know, 80 special defense and 65 special defense, the fact that we really invested into both of them, like over 230 EVs, or like, yeah, almost like, you know, over 230, 236 EVs or more, which is crazy. And you combine that with Vessel of Ruin, it's taking everything on the special. Like special moves are not breaking it and physical moves aren't breaking these Pokemon either. If you just look at their physical stats. So it's just some insanely broken stuff. Uh, body press was insane. It was so good. I absolutely recommend running it. You get intimidated four times and you're still chunking everything with body press. That is crazy because Ting Lu wants to stay on the field for a while. It also makes the sand tomb strategies way stronger because now you actually have ways of doing damage outside of getting intimidated four or five times again. It's so, like keeping up that consistent damage with body press is so good. Like especially since your defense stats high so you're taking advantage of that. Snarl is broken. We messed up the deep we messed up the boost the first time when we made the spread, but yeah, Snarl was just absolutely like it, it was insane. It it won us that last game so comfortably. Like we took 30% from that gleam, I think, or Moonblast. Like Terra Fairy because of two snarls. And it was a fast snarl. Like that's that's some of the best damage reduction ever. I don't think you need Howl. I think this is like infinitely better for this team and this is why i wanted to stick to some of the original stuff i did not want to do howl with these three pokemon because i wanted to experiment why their original attacks were good and yeah snarl is good it's just like it just it put in work like it was it was it, it, that that end game was so free because of it like i know you can get crit but gouging's fast so it actually does damage with heat crash especially when next to chen pao so it's powerful and it's broken support now golden go it beats certain matchups, that's it. Like, it beats Como and it beats uh, Registeel stuff, and it catches, um, you know, close team sheet, catches people off guard. So I think that's the reason for it. It was good. Terra Steel Maken Room was disappointingly weak. Like, I don't know how we beat that Annihilate, but that Rillaboom should have dropped. I was so disappointed. Like, I took off my Vessel of Ruin by swapping out to make sure that I one-shot the Ape and Rillaboom, because I thought that was my only chance to win, and we just, like, it just did not beat the Rillaboom, and we lost. Also, Miracle Seed Rillaboom is really strong. It was doing far too much damage to my entire team. 
a Stellar Terra Pow is right. I think because you have a Ghost type on Golden Go, we definitely want that. Stellar Terra also won game one of our last set that we played. So it was good. Ice Spinner is good again rid of Terrain. I don't know if they ran Ice Skull Crash. I know a lot of the good Japanese players run Ice Skull Crash. And their whole theory behind Ice Skull Crash is that 27% of the time you click that move, so over one in four, you're getting the flinch. Like that, it, it's the reason it's twenty seven percent is because the ten percent chance to miss has to factor in. So that you 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 cut off um three percent out of the thirty. But yeah, like that. I think like yeah, one in four is so like oh, better than one in four. Is so good. That's why they run crash. I don't know if they ran crash, but I thought spinner is amazing to get rid of terrain and the consistency. But yeah, stellar terra adamant is so powerful. Like it makes D Knight Chen Pao so much more threatening because now they have to cover for this insanely strong Chen Pao, but they also have to cover for the D Knight. But also Chen Pao stellar terra is so much better on its. Own without Dragonite like it sweeps on its own and same with Dragonite like Terra Normal E-Speed also sweeps on its own sometimes so yeah like these two don't have to be together and I think that's good for the team also having a switch into uh water and grass type attacks for your Ting Lu lead is really useful as Dragonite so like with max HP you actually take that really well and yeah Outrage can chunk things into like a good end game for like Gao Jing Chen Pao like again you don't need the uh Howl to make these this core strong like I think Snarl is fantastic. Even on the common teams, I'd actually consider running Snarl. Because, like, this Pokemon's supposed to be weak anyways. It's a good support. So, yeah, I actually want to use this as a bulky support Pokemon. I, I love it. But, yeah, this team is just absolutely broken. I, I just think it's, like, amazing. And, yeah, I want to... Uh, yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted to kind of, like, review it. I, it's so... Like, I, I'm in love. Like, this this is just... It, it's it's I, i'm so glad that i got to share this here because we just destroy everyone and like i don't think like very few people had a matchup the only the annihilate guy had a matchup and we had to get lucky there but everything else was like felt really straightforward but yeah that's pretty much it in terms of this video um hope you have a good day thanks for watching and bye, -bye.